Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the problems that I am uploading. Today I am back with another problem from lead code, gray code. The gray code is a binary numeral system where two successive values differ in only one bit. Given a non-integer, non-negative integer n representing the total number of bits in the code, print the sequence of the gray code. A gray code sequence must begin with a zero. So basically if the input is 2 as shown in the example 1, right? So the output should be 0, 1, 3, 2. So if you convert back uh, these numbers into binary representation, right? 0 will be represented as 0, 0 because the number of bits are 2, right? So 0, 0 and 1 is represented as 0, 1 and 3 is represented as 1, 1 and 2 is represented as 1, 0. So if you look 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So there is only one bit change. So that is what they are looking for. In the gray code, there is exactly one bit is changed. So for one and three, so these two bits are same and the first bits are zero and one. So that, that is also one bit is changed. So that is how we have to generate the gray code. So there are many possible gray code sequences um, for a given uh, input number of bits, but all they are looking for is one gray code, right? So uh, that's the reason why uh, there is another example 0 2 3 1 even this is also a valid gray code sequence for example so th it's not like there is only one valid sequence but there are multiple valid, valid sequences possible so we are going to see how we are going to achieve this problem so there is a, a way that we could uh, easily solve it so we we go with the approach like we build the gray code for n minus 1 bits and use that to build the gray code for n bits that means so for if you build a gray code for uh, let's say one bits right one bit then we will use that to generate the grow gray code for two bits and and likewise we generate the gray code for three bits using the two bits likewise okay so let's go look at the steps involved right so building the gray code for one bit the gray code is zero and one that's it so if you have just one bit right if the input is one all the gray code is just zero and one uh, in other way you can say okay one zero is also a possible gray code right so because there is only change in one bit yes that is possible right but for this example i'm going to take zero and one as my gray code and for two bits right for two bits we'll have to apply the below logic right so for n minus one bits in this case n is two right n minus one is one bit so that is a gray code that we are going to utilize for that so we are going to generate two arrays right two arrays first array is prepending zero to each element in the gray code from n minus one bit so we are going to prepend zero that means put a prefix zero prefix for zero put a zero prefix for one right so here the here is the example that i am talking so one bit array is zero one so apply the above logic for two bits so first array will become zero 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 one right what we are doing is prepend zero right and the second array what we are doing is prepend one for the same thing so if you generate another array preparing one right it will become 1 0 1 1 so now you have these two arrays right first array and second array what you should do as a third step here right this one join first array and reverse of the second array remember reverse of the second array so reverse means you have to reverse the elements in the second array so so the final array for two bits will be we are joining the first array plus reverse of 1 0 1 1 what will be reverse of 1 0 1 1 it will be 1 1 1 0 like that so this will be the gray code for two bits so similarly you can work out for three bits by using this gray code for two bits four bits by using the gray code for three bits likewise so uh, but the question that is asked is we have to return the integers right so finally we have to convert the binary strings back into integer and then return the list as output right so this is a simple explanation for converting the gray code so let's go and try to do that right so this is a uh, list that we are trying to 
give us an answer right but anyway this answer should be converted back to uh, integer and then return right so initialize the count to 0 and if n is greater than or equal to 0 add the first bit so basically first gray code 0 right so that is what we are going to write greater than if it is greater than or equal to 1 right so greater than or equal to 1 means that means you are looking for 0 and 1 so you just add 1 right so that we are incrementing the count each time so if if the count is still less than that n let's say if count is 2 right so that means we have to go through these steps right these steps so that is what this while loop will do for us so generating the nth nth uh, gray code by using the n minus 1 gray code so the new list in here we are just declaring and from the old list we go from the starting number to the ending number and start prepending 0 right start prepending 0 0 will be added as a prefix and then add that resultant into the new answer that we are uh, new answer list right so this is the first array that is the first step right and the second step we are we are a bit trying to come uh, do these two steps in a single time right instead of doing the reverse and all that right what we are doing is go from the last element right so go from the last element to the first element and append it to the answer so that is as good as doing the reverse of the second array so this is this is doing two steps the second array prepending as good as, as well as reversing so once you have the new answer right new answer array just assign that to our answer so that it will be used for the next uh, set of binary code representation sorry gray code representation so if uh, let's say if you are doing n is equal to 3 right so we have done through n is equal to 2 so it has to go back and do the n is equal to 3 part also so finally once the gray code is available for n bits right so this is this is n bits right so while the while we increment the count it somewhere it will reach to n while it, we have the n bits right we will convert that into basically the integer right we just convert that into integer and finally return the results hope this cleared the uh, any questions that you have so if you like the solution please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get get notifications for my all future videos please share among your friends if you're looking for mock interviews or interview guidance please reach out to me through the comment section please include your email in the comment section i will get back to you thanks for watching i'll be back with another video very soon till then bye